the human soul was photographed at the moment of death for the first time. This was done by scientists from Russia. The moment of stellar incarnation during which the spirit leaves the body has been captured by the Russian scientist Konstantin Korotkov. He photographed a person at the time of his death with a bioelectrographic camera. The image taken by the gas evacuation imaging method, an advanced technique of Kirlian photography, depicts in a blue the life force of the person leaving the body gradually. According to Korotkov, the navel and the head are the places that first lose the power of life, which may be the soul, while the groin and the heart are the last areas that the spirit leaves to the space of infinity. In other cases, according to Korotkov, in the souls of people who die violently and unexpectedly, there is usually a state of confusion in the settings of power, so it returns to the body in the days following his death. This may be due to the surplus of unused energy. I mean, this is, this is astonishing. This scientist says, the souls of people who died violently and unexpectedly, I guess uh, those who weren't prepared to die, uh, th there is usually a state of confusion in the settings of power. So the soul returns to the body in the days following this death, maybe due to a surplus of unused energy. I mean, what is that? The technique developed by Korotkov, director of the St. Petersburg Institute for Physical Educational Education Research, has been approved by the Russian Ministry of Health as a medical technology and is used by more than 300 doctors around the world to monitor stress and progress of patients being treated for diseases such as cancer. Korotkov says the energy imaging technique could be used to monitor all kinds of biophysical imbalances and diagnose in real time, but also to show whether or not a person has mental powers, so it is a scam. This real-time technique, which amplifies electromagnetic field-induced radiation, is a more advanced version of the aura re recorded technology developed by Simeon Kirlian. Karatkov's observations confirm, as proposed by Kirillian, the foot that forced electrophotonic light around the fingertips of, main, of man contains a coherent but complete state of a person, both physically and psychologically. It's important to mention that there are many critical comments that have been written from time to time on this issue by various skeptics presenting the above as a product of fraud. What we find, however, is that they have no evidence. They are simply based on respect for their freedom of opinion. And we wonder why a director of the Institute of Physical Education Research in St. Petersburg with medical technology approved by the Ministry of Health of Russia with more than 300 specialists under his responsibility wants to set up such a big scam in the field of the soul. In any case, we refer everyone to the official website of Konstantin Korotkov and in particular to the issue in question. There he gives many facts and several details where he explains how and why regarding all of them in summary, the above mentioned allegations and we leave the conclusions up to you. This is uh, translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.